what up Libras this is part two I'm still sorry but the video got cut short um but you know what I was gonna restart it but I felt like um I was told to keep it so I'm just gonna have a part two all right so Libra gang gang um since this is happening I'm gonna go further into your situation um let's see Let's go into what is in alignment with your higher self, okay? So what is in alignment with your higher self pertaining to this relationship? And what I was talking about, okay, first, before we start that, um, what I was ending with on the last message was um, you guys are both either you're waiting for your person and grieving about it or your person is waiting for you and... Um, you know, you're either grieving about waiting or they're grieving about waiting for you. Um, so it could go vice versa. Um, but, and hi, the star. And uh, if this resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Um, if it doesn't, please check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, um, but yeah, so I feel like in the recent, you know, you guys basically are, you know, still waiting for your person to um let's see let's see what we're waiting for regarding your person so we can close that up what what are we waiting for what is libra waiting for or what is libra's person waiting for from libra empress check that out okay oh look at that look at that and the ace of cups so wait okay i'm getting that Someone may be waiting for the results of a pregnancy test. Someone may be pregnant in this situation, um, but it doesn't have to be. You could also be dealing with a Libra or Taurian um, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this is the Empress, the Divine Feminine. I feel like what needs to happen is um, you guys need to heal and um, be more creative, work on your own creative endeavors. If it's not pregnancy, then you guys need to birth your new projects, birth your, you know, whatever projects you've been working on or wanted, wanted to put out in the past or whatever. It's time to start doing that. It's time to start um, putting more time into your beauty, into, um, you know, just pampering yourself, make yourself feel good, um, more salt baths or spiritual baths or cleanses to, to heal your body to make yourself feel better physically um more meditating yoga whatever but basically self-love i feel like um you guys if you're not waiting for results of a pregnancy test so that might be positive um you guys are waiting for your person to you know get into their empress status get into that creative mode uh, abundance mode bringing in uh basically making things come into fruition okay so whether you need to start making your dreams come into fruition or your partner needs to make their dreams start coming into fruition for you know and creating abundance in their own surroundings and loving themselves and pampering themselves and making themselves feel good so that they can have a cup of love to offer or so they can have you know a heart overflow overflowed with love because they already love themselves now they can give to you you know what i'm saying but if they don't have the um abundance and they don't have the self-love you or your person that is going to block this situation that's um that's what you guys are waiting for right now is abundance and oh gosh yeah look wish fulfillment you guys are waiting for a wish fulfillment um maybe someone has been waiting for a preg uh, you know waiting to get pregnant and that's why there's some nervous energy around it could be waiting like you got, could be waiting for a pregnancy test because look she's like holding this like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and it will be positive so it will be a pregnancy you know it will result in a positive pregnancy test um and somebody you guys you know you and your person may be happy elated about that it may be a wish you know prayers answered you guys have may have been uh trying to work towards a baby so congratulations if that is uh, your situation but if not, I feel like somebody needs to fill up their own cups um, with some self-love and work on their own creative endeavors to create abundance in order to bring it, uh, bring, 
bring their desires into fruition for themselves so that they can give to their divine counterpart. Yep, for commitment. Oh, look at that. Okay, you may also be dealing with a Taurus because Empress and uh, the higher fitness here. But um, yeah, so let's go into what your partner feels about you and what actions they're going to take towards you in the next week, okay? I'm going to use these. How does Libra's person feel about them? How does... Oh. Okay, so... Look at that. The Ten of Cups. Oh. Libra, your person loves you. They love you. Oh. Um... They definitely love you a lot. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or someone with Scorpio, can, uh, Cancer, Pisces in their chart. Um, but this person wants to hold on to you. This person wants to build a stable foundation with you. This person is holding on to you, Libra. That's so sweet. Um, this person is going to message you. This person probably is watching you. Okay. They could be spying or keeping an eye on you um, because they're like, and eh -eh, boo boo, you ain't going nowhere. I love you. Okay, I may be hiding my emotions right now, but I love you. But anyways, yeah, your person loves you a lot. They may be um, spying on you a little bit. They may be waiting for messages from you. They may be waiting for you to offer them that solid cup of love from you. Um, they may be waiting to make love to you, okay? They may be waiting for you guys to come back into union. And until then, they are working hard on themselves, all right? Look. And then they're going to rush in, or you're going to rush in to that person after you work hard on yourself, okay? But either way, your person loves you, Libra, okay? So, um, look, communication. You guys will be communicating with each other. Um, let's see the action. What action is your person going to take, Libra? or you what action is going to be taken all right so juggling partners could be dangerous so somebody might still be juggling partners or considering juggling partners a taurus so if someone's considering juggling with a taurus or whatever the situation may be um i wouldn't consider doing that because it's dangerous for you somebody may be trying an organization somebody may be trying to get you to you know to be a player and juggle partners or whatnot um but this is a balanced relationship that's what it says up there so uh yeah your soul tribe is returning so it may be people like your circle your family your friends whatnot don't let your fr family friends or an organization that could be um you know anything any organization or whatever any group uh, cult, whatever, don't let them get in between your balanced relationship and have you start juggling partners and stuff. Yeah, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, you may be dealing with a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. Let's see, yeah, there's devil, there's devils around, haters, backstabbers, snakes, so be careful. All right, um, let's see the action. Yeah, there's devil energy around you surrounding your stable foundation so you need to make a positive move um, maybe you have to separate detach from the situation until you get your uh, self together okay but juggling partners is dangerous um, you need to choose the path or the person that is more stable um, you may have abandonment issues but um, that's you know I feel like that's healing and you may get a new job this week. That's what it says up there. Yep, as long as you remain mentally stable and sound, okay? And focus. Yep, you may have to take a break from the situation. And that's why you're a free spirit right now. You, it doesn't mean you're single and it's good to mangle, okay? That's not what that means. Because that, like the card said, it could be dangerous for you, all right? Could end up in a financial burden situation like you've been in before, I'm sure, you know? So, um, choose wise, Libra, all right? Um, but yeah, you, you may need to be a free spirit, independent, but it doesn't mean that you need to, um, cheat, all right? But it's going to be an end to conflict, mental conflict and control issues once you just, like, take a break. Learn how to take a break without, you don't have to, just because you take a break from a situation doesn't mean you have to cheat and move on to the next. You could take a break, focus on your own self. And it's okay. 
for you and your person. I feel like you or your person may be the type of person that's like, oh, if we're not seeing each other every day, if we're not doing things together, if you're not calling me, talking to me, whatever, fine, I'm gonna move on to the next, whatever, you know. And so you you go from relationship to relationship and that's when you're a player, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's when people consider you to be a player, but you're just like, well, no, I'm just not waiting around for no bullshit. But you know, you got to give time and situ or situations time to, um, you got to wait for divine timing, basically. So Libra, relax, just chill. You are a free spirit right now. It's work on your own self, work on that self-love, work on creating abundance within yourself and good luck. Later loves.